All right. Whoa. <laughs> so we are not going to read it yet. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for saying hello. Hello, Giovanni. Hello. Welcome. My name is Hannah. And how are you today? So we are talking about some pictures in the Atlantic. So we are answering two questions. What do you see? And what is he doing? So first question. First question. What do you see? Wow. What do you see? Oh, welcome. What do you see? Well, I see a man. Right? Only one. One man. And I see a pole. Right? A pole. A man. <laughs> Anyone else? What do you see? What do you see? <laughs> I see this. What is this? Anyone? What is this? A man in a bowl? <laughs> good. He is a man. Very good. A man on. <laughs> a man on a pole. <laughs> Very good. I see a man on a pole. And snow. Very good. I see snow. And here, this thing, I see a Daddy, snow. And here, this thing, I see a statue. A statue. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> okay, now we have a man on a pole, a statue, snow. Awesome. Now, we have another question. What? Is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Well, say he is, and we will use the same words from the question. What is he doing? He is. Anyone? Do you know this word? He is? He is climbing. He is climbing the pole. He is climbing the pole. Can you see? Maybe the pink is hard to read. If it's hard to read, just let me know. I'll write again. I'll write it again in yellow. Maybe that's better. Or a thicker. Here we go. There we go. He is climbing the pole. <laughs> he is climbing the pole. Yes, but that is a great question. I don't know. So let's read. <laughs> let's read and find out why he is climbing the pole. Okay. A man climbs a pole in snowfall to get a prize during celebrations of Maslinitsa. I'm not sure how to say this. It's not an English word. Maybe I have someone from Russia. Maybe you can help me with this word. Maslenitsa or Pancake Week in Veliki Novgorod. Again, if someone from Russia can help me, <laughs> you can help me with this, these words. Some 550 kilometers, 340 miles, 
northeast of Moscow, Russia, on March 1st, 2020. Mas Maslenitsa is a traditional Russian holiday marking the end of winter that dates back to pagan times. So, he is trying to win a prize, right? Maybe he will get some money, or maybe he will get a trophy, <laughs> if he can climb the pole. <laughs> um, he wants a prize. So this is a Russian holiday, and it's Pancake Week. <laughs> they are celebrating the end of winter. Great question. <laughs> so what is he doing? He is climbing the pole. And we can talk about him too, right? We can use some words to talk about him, like... Oh, maybe. <laughs> okay. First, the astronaut says maybe he will get some pancakes. Maybe so. Maybe his prize is some pancakes. <laughs> maybe. If he climbs the pole the fastest, he gets to eat pancakes. <laughs> maybe so. Um, and we can talk about him. So, first... What do we think about him? I think he is cold. <laughs> I think he is cold. And he is probably strong. He is cold. He is strong. <laughs> Any other words to describe him? What is he? He is uncomfortable good word he is uncomfortable he is uncomfortable not comfortable he is maybe his arms hurt Ugh. ow he is cold he is wearing shorts and I can also say he has a rope. He has a rope, so he will not fall. He will not fall. Oh, Mardi Gras. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. So, thank you. So, am I saying it okay? Maslenitsa, 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 good, like, it's like Mardi Gras, okay, thank you, so Mardi Gras, we celebrate in America, some people, and um, it is also called Fat Tuesday, that's what Mardi Gras means in French. It means Fat Tuesday. That's We celebrate that in New Orleans. So there's a pancake festival. Very cool. We are learning. Thank you. All right. Awesome. So any questions? This one is funny. Oh, and there is a statue. I don't know who this is, but there's a statue in the back. He, like, he is watching. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Now, <laughs> this picture is a little bit different. And first, we will ask what do you see? What do you see? Well, hmm. I see the sky. Excellent. It's hard to see. Yeah. It's hard to see what it is. I don't know. The sky. Good. An excellent job with the. So we talked about 
if there is only one thing, like the moon, the moon, the sky, we'd say the. So great job, the, the sky. And I see clouds again. There's something in front. Yes, there is something here. I don't know what it is, right? It's very hard to see. But there are three, right? Say there are three things. Hmm. There are three things. So let's read this one because it's very difficult to see. What are what is it? I don't know. So Let's read. <clears throat> a helicopter transports three mule deer to a field clinic where the Division of Wildlife Resources will check their condition to determine how they fared over the winter at Hardware Ranch near Hiram, Utah on March 4th, 2020. Whew. So, <laughs> so let's start off. It is a helicopter. We cannot see the helicopter, but just so you know, this is a helicopter, right? Ooh, helicopter. There is a helicopter, and it has three mule deer. So what is a mule deer? Let's look. This is a mule deer. <laughs> so these are mule deer. So now let's look at the picture again. Okay, so <laughs> now we can see there are some mule deer. <laughs> and I see their eyes are covered. Covered. Right? Their eyes are covered. And I think so they are not afraid. They are not scared. Because... <laughs> Maybe if their eyes are covered, they will not know that they are in the in the sky. Maybe. <laughs> so three mule deer. And what are they doing? <laughs> well, they are going to a field clinic. So a clinic is like a doctor. An animal doctor is a vet. A vet. They're going to see the doctor to check how they fared over the winter. So how did they do over the winter? So they are going to the doctor <laughs> to see if they did okay, if they are healthy. Maybe it was too cold. Maybe they got sick. 